Hello, welcome to Deep Tub. You may know our guest tonight from the upcoming Crawford and the upcoming performance of Come From Away. We're diving deep into success tonight with Steffi D. Steffi, you know, uh, tonight's episode actually has a sponsor. Oh, really? Soap Fancy. Southpaw. Southpaw. On Blu-ray. Wow, you got so much swag. Where'd and you DVD get all that now. Southpaw swag? When you're in with Southpaw, you uh, you get it all. Wow. Southpaw on Blu-ray and DVD starring Jake Gyllenhaal with new original music from Eminem. Wow, I don't even know what Southpaw, Southpaw is. I've Go never seen your... it. You gotta go to your local. Has uh, it video been store. very successful? If you uh, go into your local Walmart and use the code uh, Tub Tub Guy. Tub Guy. You'll get this oh. for thirty dollars. Do you think of yourself as successful? That's a really hard question. Why? Because, what is success? I feel like as an actor, an artist, or performer, or anybody who does this kind of thing, like in the entertainment industry. Unless you're like Jake Gyllenhaal in Southpaw, Southpaw, then like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I think success means different things to different people. I feel like I've been really lucky, I'll tell you that much. I've had like very many experiences where I feel like I've been really lucky to work with like amazing people and on amazing projects. But like, I don't know, what is success? That's a good question. Um, pretty much my follow-up question. What... <laughs> What is success to you? <laughs> I feel like success is like when you've reached goals. But yeah. success also means that like you continue to try to reach goals. It's not just like you reach one and then you're done. Success is like continuing to like challenge yourself and like carry on with your career or your personal life or whatever it is that you're trying to gain from life. Well, I think with you, like, you're already a person. That's just, uh, we're already a person. That's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought you, that's where you were going to, like, yeah, end success it. success number one. You're already a person. I'm like, thank you so much. Success number one. Success number one. Wow! It's a pencil sharpener! I actually need one of these. And on top of that... Yeah. You are, which I think that uh, people watching this are probably performers as well. Mm -hmm. and you're a full-time performer, so you get to yeah. focus on that. I, yes, Another I do. Another success. <gasps> Great! Like, I think this year, um, as well, like, uh, for me, I don't want you to brag, but I want to brag for Oh, okay, great. You can so, brag for me. So, uh, being in a TV show, that's going to be a monster. Right. I'm, like, really excited about that show. Getting like, a really. huge, probably one of the biggest stage sh shows in Canada, booking that. Like, yeah, like, come from away, like, making a big splash in New York. It's going to tour. It's going to be in Toronto. Like, it's one of, like, the biggest Canadian musical theater success stories, probably. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And like, on top of that. On top of that. One of the uh, top commercials you could book. Ooh, TD Bank? Yeah. Who, me? <laughs> See, the top of all fields. <laughs> the top of all of the fields. <laughs> When's the album drop? I am, um, oh, God. <laughs> I mean, no, I don't think there's an album uh, dropping. Um, I've always, you know, there's always been a part of me that's wanted to, like, pursue music, like, yeah. in a way. But also, there's something about music that's really scary because mm. I have to be myself, mm. people. So you're, you're up there vulnerable. Almost. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're vulnerable. You have to, like, I don't know. It's, like, it's a thing. Well, like, we'll go back to, because you were talking about singing, so we'll go back to uh, Canadian yeah. Idol. Oh, yeah, sure. And when you were on that show, yes. were you planning on being a singer there? No. No. What's really funny about me being on Canadian Idol is that mm. at that point in my life, I was 16 years old when I auditioned yeah. and then turned 17 during the show. But what happened is that I had never sung a pop song in my life. Like, yeah. I was like a musical theater baby. Like, I just 
wanted to be on Broadway. I wanted to like sing musical theater songs, big show tunes. I auditioned with like one of my best friends at the time, like, cause we thought it would be like fun to just go. Yeah. So then I went and I remember I, for my audition, I sang a musical theater song except passed it for a pop song. Cause then I kept getting through the rounds and I was like, no way. And I was like, no way. And then next thing you knew, I was like top five. I tried to like make it as theatrical as I could because that's all I, I knew at the time. And it you know made what I mean? you different though. It made you stand out. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, did it make me stand out in a good way? I don't know. My mom still remembers you. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. By the way, should we like talk about how I'm dressed? Um, or, I, I texted Cody and I was like... Hey, Coney, what should I wear for your deep tub? And he said, a Dracula costume. And I was like, okay, like obviously it was a joke. But then I texted you again today and I was like, hey, seriously, like what should I wear? And you said again, a Dracula costume. Yeah, the joke hit well the first time. So. And then I was like, <laughs> yeah, because it was so great. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to wear a costume. Yeah. So I'm in my Batgirl costume from a few years ago. I just felt like, why not? Yeah. Once you hit that amount of success. <laughs> yeah, once you hit that amount of success, this is what you can allow yourself to do whatever you want. Yeah. What's your next goal to you? Oh, man. You know, one of my goals that's always been around mm -hmm. my whole life is that I've always wanted to be on Broadway. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's like a big, big goal. You know, when I was younger, I was like, I need to go do it now. I was like, I need to be in New York now. I want to like move right now. And it's funny. I like started like really enjoying Toronto and what it has to offer and the Canadian side of things. Yeah. And, um, and then I told myself, I was like, you know what? I feel like New York will happen when it's meant to happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Cause it'll bring you in. Like you'll audition for that, right? And yeah. Yeah. I hope there. so. Like, I hope that, so that's a big yeah. goal. And, um, I'd love to like make more of a mark in the, the like TV industry here mm -hmm. you know so Crawford was a huge deal for me like yeah. I I was ju I jumped for joy when I, I got that phone call I was like oh my gosh are you kidding me because it's my first recurring role in English television and I was yeah. just like oh my gosh like th uh, this is crazy <laughs> <laughs> I have a little bit of trivia for you. Oh no, I'm not good at trivia. Now this, Okay. I'll read the question and, okay. and then you can decide if you want to. Can I phone a friend? Exactly, my parents. Ah, your parents? You will be able to call my parents. Oh my god, that's so funny. Hi, Cody's me. parents. Oh my gosh, look at these sweethearts. So, so sweet. You'll be able to call them if yeah. you so choose. Okay. Can I, the no one's chose not to yet. Okay. I have the uh, top four highest paid actors of 2016. Oh, I know who is the top. I remember Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Well, I want you to put it in order from one to four. So we have Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I got right. Tom Cruise, Matt Damon, Jackie Chan. So you just gave me the... That's not the time. Oh, okay. They're, they're not in order. Oh, The Rock for sure is first. <laughs> you just heard The Rock first. You're like, I know it. You don't want to call my parents? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. We should... Just because. Yes. I'm a little confused that Jackie Chan is on the list. Because I don't remember the last time I saw him in something recently. Um, probably a lot of uh, productions in China, to be honest. Fair, yeah. fair. Okay. What are your parents' names? Bill and Wendy. Bill and Wendy? Yeah. That says parents on your phone. Yeah. It does... Hey, Dad. I'm here on my talk show again. Oh, you're on your talk show. Hi, hi, Bill. I have my guest, hi. Steffi. Steffi D. Hey, I'm Steffi. It's nice to virtually meet you over the phone. Yeah, it's nice to hear your voice, too. Yeah, <laughs> that's so sweet. My dad's seen you in the uh, ice cream car commercial. Oh, right, the Nissan commercial. Thank yeah. you. I, I hope you enjoyed my work on the <laughs> Nissan commercial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, it's good. It's good work, Bill said. Um, um, we have a question for you. I was hoping you could help me with some trivia. 
Okay, so the order of the highest paid actors in Hollywood last year, highest to lowest. In what order would you put these people? We have Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Tom Cruise, Matt Damon, and Jackie Chan. Let's say The Rock. Yeah, I, that's what I said too for The One. Probably uh, Cruise and then it's, yeah, that's what I think, too. Yeah, Steffi said the same Yeah, order. I said the same thing. Yeah, I think that's probably. Well, I'll reveal the answer to both of you since you oh. have the same answer. So what's the, what's the, yeah. Dwayne Johnson, number one. Number two, Jackie Chan. No! Number three, Matt Damon. Number four, no. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is not in the top four. Sorry, is not, is the fourth out of the four. Yeah, Jackie Chan, number two. Oh, no way. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Bill. Thanks for helping me out. Well, I tried. <laughs> oh, no, that's fine. I don't know if there are any prizes or anything. We've been talking about success. Let's talk about failure. Okay. What do you consider to be your biggest failure? One of my biggest failures, all I wanted to do, like, when I graduated high school was to go to Juilliard, like, in New York for acting. Yeah. And I mean, like, Cody, every time I visited New York as, like, as a teenager, we would go to the Juilliard School gift shop, and I got things that said the Juilliard, wow, the Juilliard School. Yeah. I have, like, a pencil that's shaped like a music note that says the Juilliard School. Yeah. I have a notebook at home. Like, I have all this stuff that says Juilliard on it. Because I was so dead set on getting into Juilliard. <laughs> And I was like, of course, like this, this makes sense. This is mm -hmm. what's going to happen. And then I uh, went to New York, like when I senior year, I go to New York to audition like for Juilliard and I'm like prepared these monologues for the last like seven months of my life. Okay. Yeah. I get in there, like wait all day to get in. Like it's a long wait for the auditions. I get in, I do my monologues and they're like, thank you. I didn't even, like, get a call back, didn't even do the group audition, nothing. So it was, like, seven years of my life just thrown away <laughs> of, like, thinking, like, oh, my God, you guys, I'm going to New York to be in Juilliard. Yeah. And uh, never happened. Yeah. And, and the dream, like, just popped like a bubble in a minute. And what was so funny is that when I came out, my mom was waiting for me in the lobby. Yeah. And she was like, so? And I was like, I didn't make it through. And she was like, oh, how do you feel? And I was like, fine. Yeah. There you go. I guess it wasn't meant to be. Yeah, Julia. But I didn't lost. cry or anything, which is weird because yeah. as a teenager, I cried a lot when I didn't get parts. I was like, yeah, took yeah. it really personally. And now I'm like, oh, rejection, whatever. But um, yeah, but, but it's weird. I felt like really at peace with it. I was like, oh, I guess it's just, it wasn't in the cart. <laughs> talking about uh, success and failure it all goes towards uh one thing it seems with you it's like more into uh, career but um, right. for a lot of people like success and uh, yeah. failure is going it's to like different personal. things like uh, like relationships uh -huh. or like um, yeah. living situations yeah. or uh, whatnot mm -hmm. so what about uh, those things for you where do they land that's actually like i'm really glad you brought that up because isn't it interesting that when you said success my mind went to mm -hmm. career but i feel like for a lot of people, success would go to other places. Yeah. Like, I feel like, um, like if we're being candid, yeah. I mean, you're naked in a bathtub right yeah. now. I feel like I can be candid. Yeah, this is what it's all about. Uh, this is what it's all about. Um, yeah, it's been tougher for me, I feel. Um, mm -hmm. I've been so lucky uh, career-wise. I've had so many great opportunities. I've reached so many goals and uh, been challenged by a lot of things in my career. Um, and I've been challenged in a lot of things in my personal life, too. Do you think that uh, the harder times with the other category has um, allowed you to propel f uh, further with the success of your career? Yeah, yeah. I want to say yes. Like yeah. more focused For on For some that. reason, any time something was going wrong in my personal life, something good was happening in my career. Oh. <laughs> it's one of those things. You yeah. know what I mean? I've been or, really uh, lucky that for, it's been uh, career-wise. For some for of me. us, uh, both suck, am I right? <laughs> <laughs>
Wild Staffy, with all of your accolades that you have received uh -huh. and that you have achieved, uh -huh. I have one last parting gift for you. Oh! An additional accolade. Oh, wow. I'll you to oh, may it. I do this? Okay. Wow, this is very exciting. <gasps> Look at that. I got a perfect attendance. Certificate. Steffi, you are here right now. Perfect attendance. You have made your interview. It's perfect I made it. attendance. It's, it's perfect attendance. Because I only had to show up right now. Yeah. I love this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank Thanks you for, for having me, Cody. I, I'm really, really glad that you had me on your show. And uh, yeah. We got uh, to the bottom of success, and now everyone watching. I hope so can uh, so. figure it out as well. Success is really what it means 